Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Drupal core. If you remember in the past couple of videos, I've been getting this um, security update available for Drupal message, and if we click on Available Updates, it's going to have a Drupal core highlighted in red here. And it's going to say that there's a security update run 7.12, and it recommends 7.14. So before you get started, I'm going to recommend that you take a backup of all your files because what we're going to be doing is removing all of your files except for the sites folder. So please take this time to take a backup of all your files. Once you have that done, please come back to the video and we'll get started. Okay, so assuming you have a backup of all your files, we're going to go to configuration here and we're going to put our site into maintenance mode. Maintenance mode is under development in configuration. Okay, and we're going to check this, I put our site into maintenance mode, click save. Okay, we're now in maintenance mode. So I've actually uh, already downloaded, downloaded the latest version of Drupal. If you need to do that, you can go to uh, drupal.org slash project slash Drupal and grab the latest version. I have my files all right here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is delete every single file in my actual site folder except for sites. If you recall, sites is where you save pretty much everything. Your CSS, your JavaScript, um, if you're installing modules, it's in here, uh, sites all modules. So don't delete sites folder, but delete everything else. Okay, now in the latest version of Drupal that we downloaded, it's 714, we're going to grab everything except for the sites folder. And here, we're going to just drag and drop these files in here. Okay, so now we have the latest version of Drupal. The files are all here. Now we need to run the update script on our site. So if we go back to our site, let's click out of this, click out of this, okay. We can go to our normal URL slash update.php. And this is going to take you to this uh, Drupal database update. So we're gonna click continue and four pending updates. This is all the stuff that it's updating. You can read more into this, but this is just telling you uh, the exact things that this security update is doing. And that won't be all of them, but that's sort of like the major things. So let's see, I'll just take a second here. Okay, so now that's run, let's go to our administration pages. And as you can see, we're now back in here. Usually after, uh, Doing a large update, I like to clear the cache. You know, one of those things in Drupal is pretty much clear the cache if ever you're having an issue. That should be your first thing to check. But, um, so I always like to do that right after running the update. And now I'm going to uncheck this, put site into maintenance node, save it, and we should have our latest version of Drupal. So now we just have one more step before we're all done. We need to go through and delete some files. So if you remember, um, when we dragged all these files in here, you can see there's this install, um, it's my, uh, my SQL TXT install, and then the install PHP we can delete. We also can install this, uh, or delete this install SQL Lite install .txt. We can delete license .txt. We can delete maintainers .txt. Um, let's see, what else can we delete? We can also delete changelog.txt. And then one more, it's just this upgrade.txt. So we can just clear these out, get rid of them. We don't need them. Okay, now just to verify, of course, I didn't delete anything stupid. Um, you can just click on your site, everything's working fine. So that's how you update your core version of Drupal in Drupal 7. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at uh, Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Uh, once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching. Bye.